Okay. Got a uh, new new canvas ready to go. <clears throat> As you can see here. But I got my paints ready. I got shitty instant coffee because I ran out of coffee and all I had was instant. It's probably many years old. I don't even know. Got the water. I got brushes washed. I got my other liquid, which is just water and palm juice. I don't know why. I feel compelled to drink at the beginning of all these things. Okay. Um, so today, I have some ideas. I mean, there are so many paintings that I, I need to finish. But... I just love the beginning process, so I'm starting a new one. <clears throat> oh, is this that brush? Yeah, this is that brush that's already... I don't know why it's still here in this pack. Okay. <clears throat> this is a big one. Yeah, I am... Oh, really? You just started painting. Maybe I don't need this right now. I just... I was propping him up with a bit of scotch tape. Good afternoon. It was just a boring afternoon until you came on. Nice. Randy. Uh, I don't know how exciting this is going to be. This canvas has a little bit of a dent in here. Now check this out. This is different. This These canvases have these screws. Look at that. They have these built-in mechanisms to tighten the canvas, right? Normally you've got these wooden slots they put in here, but this has got these funky contraptions. So the only downside to that is whenever you get like a weird kink in the canvas, I'll try to show you the, the kink. You gotta get the light to hit it. It's 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 right along this edge here. Okay, there she you should be able to see it now. Anyhow, it's really easy to see when I from where I'm at maybe you can see it now it's like a little indent about that big okay and normally I could fix that I could fix that with uh, spraying water on the backside and I kind of massage it a little bit and then the canvas will straighten out but that's mechanism things in the way so my only option is gonna be a kind of a funny option <laughs> I might just put real thick paint and then use like a uh, like a what the what the hell are they call the um, pound knife to straighten it out. <laughs> it's kind of like doing um, tuck pointing. <laughs> I know I've done a lot of tuck pointing. Well, a lot. I did uh, all around my house. In my other house I used to own. I had to tuck point. I had to dig down because there was water coming in the basement. So I had to dig out the whole front of the house where. The people who previously owned it had like plants in front, so stupidly, and then it, it, there was no water barrier, so I had to dig, dig, dig down, tuck point, add this like water, this plastic kind of <clears throat> weird, like had all these pocket holes in it, sort of. Do a uh, one of those little trenches called those trenches where you you um. On the interior, had to do this. You had to cut through the cement floor. What else? You cut through the cement floor. You dig down. You put gravel and a weeping, a weeping, weeping thing. Whatever it's called. It's like a, it's like a uh, tube that catches the water and then takes it to a, a place where the uh, the water pressure on the water table is lower, so that the water will drain. So anyhow. I did tuck pointing there. I renovated my own basement myself. Buena sera! Good afternoon from Italy. Right on. I love Italy. Italy's awesome. Italy. I lived in Siena for about a month and a half. And my contrada, so the way it works, so the cool thing about Siena is this little town in Italy really pretty town and has this big square public square okay and every year they've got this crazy horse race where thousands of people sort of like congregate in the square and then the horse would go around and uh, the, the whole the whole town or villages is, is divided into these things called contradas 
and it becomes this big festival where every whenever you walk in a certain neighborhood, they have certain colors. They have like uh, the clothes they wear and flags and stuff. So you kind of have this sort of like local pride for your contrada, right? Anyhow, two cool things about when I went. One, my contrada won, which was insane, and the parting was crazy for days and days after. But the other part was, I was at the beginning of the, the whole race, and apparently some people said I was on TV, like national TV, because it was like a, it's like a big event, and at the beginning of the race, like we're talking thousands of people, but I was right at the, just happened to be, because we were, the, we went out like five hours ahead kind of thing, and even then it was pretty busy. But we were at the beginning of the horse race, me and a couple of friends. And apparently they zoomed into a group of us. And maybe for one split second, I was on national Italian TV. This would have been 1980, 87 or 88. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to let this thing dry for a second. And I'll tell you. Hey, come on, focus. There we go. My window's open because I'm kind of hot, so we're going to get all kinds of like fun people yelling and swearing outside. And I live in a, let's just say, a colorful neighborhood. And I, I have a, everyone walks by my window. Normally it's shut, but there's going to be all kinds of funny swearing and stuff. Okay. All right, is it? Okay. I'm trying to get, I'm putting my hands here so it'll focus on the canvas. Okay. I... I'm thinking about one of the most classic paintings in Canada. Excuse me. This is my allergies to my dog. I just scooped up tons of dog hair. I teach a class and every day I'm like blowing my nose through the whole stupid class just because my allergies. I feel bad for the students. Anyhow, one of my favorite paintings, and I can't remember what it's called. It's like, hey, Luis. Luis is one of my former students, too. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Luis. Okay, so someone will remember the name of this painting. It's, it's there. I'll try to describe it in my, my, my hands and stuff. Okay. So imagine the paintings here. There's like uh, the horizons, I think, pretty much in the middle. Okay, I'm, I think. And the main tree kind of goes up and, and, and clumps to the left and the water is kind of a little bit rough. And the cool thing about this painting was in the background, the um, the horizon, the hills, Tom Thompson paint, I'm pretty sure it's Tom Thompson, he painted like the hills, ver like vertical strokes. <clears throat> and I remember the, and, and the bottom, uh, he used like red lines for the rocks. And, you know, but it's like this iconic painting and I, 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 you know, everyone should know what it's called. I just forget what it's called. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about with this one here. Like this single tree, something iconic. I don't know. I mean, it may totally change. I, I don't know. It may completely irrevocably change, but. So I'm not quite sure. So I might have to like <coughs> kind of think about this for a bit. Like one of the main things I think about at this stage is like if I'm going to do a landscape is you where's the horizon because that determines the overall perspective very very much right. If your horizon's low, you know you're you're uh, you're going to have lots of air. I mean lots of uh, come on focus. You're going to have lots of. Uh, sky if it's up here you're gonna have lots of ground and it'll change the perspective totally right um okay well i'm just gonna where should this be where should this be where should this be <laughs> thanks Lise. <laughs> It's funny because I'm getting like because some of you guys are on my Facebook. I'm I'm occasionally getting you popping on. So I don't know if you remember um, uh, Diago. I'm not sure if he was before or after or during your class, but Diago uh, comes on a bit 
And Sean Guardian, you know, the other uh, teacher, he's there occasionally too. Okay, anyhow. All right, well, let's just do this. And then maybe I'm trying to. Oh, I don't want to go to the left. If I go to the left, it's too much like that painting. So maybe I'm going to go to the right. Yeah. Okay, maybe this is what it's like. Okay. Try not to cheat. Like, I'm trying not to make it too much like um, Tom Thompson's painting. But that's kind of like. Yes, this is it's a bit what it's like. Okay. Well. So from here, I could do those like um, clumpy kind of leaves that are just sort of falling off. I don't know what kind of hell kind of tree it is. <clears throat> but maybe it just has, this thing is all about um, coming to the left, I mean to the right. Maybe, do I even add a little one over here? I don't know. Okay, so that's enough of a composition. Now, how do I make this thing awesome? Is that's the question. The sky, the color of the sky. Why don't we start with the sky? Okay. Um, brush would be good. It's a little bit still wet. Okay, so. I should probably, you know what, I should probably draw out some more of the tree to make it like, yeah, I should probably actually try to define what this thing is. I like to use different colors at this stage, you know, like, what is the name of that painting? It, it, I'll tell you where it is exactly. If things haven't changed at the Art Gallery Ontario, when you first walk into the group of seven room, it's like staring straight, straight in your face. So I'm just sort of making some sort of rock formation. I don't, you know, doesn't doesn't really matter, does it? Good enough. Now, I was thinking about, like, what if, okay, I don't know if the paint's going to stay. What if the sun, excuse me, is like kind of like glowing behind this center, center part over here and then radiates out. Oh, nugget, please just give me a break. I just started painting and now all of a sudden you're like doing your I want to do something sounds. <coughs> all right. All right, so I'm just throwing down some paint. Yeah, go, go, go walk around and do something. And, uh, oh, look at that. Yeah, it doesn't need much actually. Nugget, please just give me a break. Literally just started goofing around this thing. So maybe like, <coughs> so check it out. We'll have this. <laughs> oh, come here, you. This is what I'm dealing with over here. Let me just zoom out a bit. Come on, come over here. Maybe we can see you. Come over here. Come over here. There we go. I'm dealing with this, this little girl right here who needs my attention a lot. Hello, baby. Hello. Look at the cute you are. Look at you so cute. Yes, you are. Yes, you are, baby. You're so cute. I think I don't want to get paint on my face because I got, I got, I got paint on my hands already, so I can't play with you too much. Okay, can I just give you just a little bit of attention and then I can go back? All right. 
You know, she just loves to. You are so cute. Hello, baby. Oh, there she goes. She's gonna go grab a toy and thinks I'm ready to play, but I'm not. Some crazy cool camera work there. Yeah, see, she's ready. <laughs> snort, snort. Okay. Right, back to it. Okay, so we got some cool ass kind of flow with the sky. Blue, purplish something. Like, let's try. I don't know if you can see my my uh, palette over here. I'm gonna, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take some of this uh, yellow and just scrape it right across this blue. Oh. <coughs> that may be too blue. Uh, well, let's just do it. Let's just do this. It's very greeny. I definitely want to have thicker paint. So we're going to have like, imagine, and then the lake. Okay. I guess it'd be brightness to darkness. Normally, I'd, I'd pass it in brightness to brightness here to darkness because of the composition. Because I want to, okay, shut the fuck up and just keep doing it. Okay. Um, yes. Take some white. Yeah, I don't like the way... I want this to be thicker. This is a no. It's not so good. It's not what I want. I think I want more of a purple. So I'll take this purple, mix it with this <coughs> white. Too strong. Let's try this. Excuse me. Now it's turning to a weird green. I'm looking for like a <coughs> excuse me, kind of a purple. That's turning into a mud color. That's just gross. That's just like, maybe that'll go here. Ew, it's like a disgusting, nasty gray. Bleh. Oop, let the gland round. Whatever. Okay, so that, that was a massive failure. Let's try, see if I can resurrect more purple. Some white. Okay, white. No, just not, it's not the color I want. I mean, it could be okay. Maybe for like way up here. Well, it's a bit dark. If I could always lighten it up, that's not the issue. Okay. Come on. Why is this coming out? Well, that's, I have a new white, so I don't have to struggle as much. And the white is becoming a bit of a pain in the butt. Okay, maybe that's kind of more softer purple. What I'm trying to capture is like a, a flow. See how this thing's curving here? I want to capture a bit of a flow. This will be now. I should definitely have more of the blue in there. Let's put some blue crazy as blue, real blue. Give me some real blue, okay? Just building out the composition. I'm not sure. If I like this higher here, I wonder if it should be lower. Well, let's just uh, see what transpires after a minute or two. Yeah, I don't want to close the sky, so let's just throw down some blue. Okay, let's pretend that that's actually a branch. Why not? Just sort of made these little weird little lines and they become the composition.
need some more weights. This is beautiful. I love this. Look at that. Oh, brand new paint. Now with these ones, there's a tiny bit of oil sometimes at the very top. This one is actually nice. You can see this coming out. There's no oil dripping. That's actually not that common. That's perfect. That's what you want. So I'm becoming out here. I'll show you an example of one. Let's see if I can find one where it's not as, not as nice. Oh yeah. Yeah, here you can tell. If you look here, there's a thing. You can see all that crust, that yellow crust. That's the oil that's been built up and, and pressure was coming out. I'm not getting sorry. Chill out, baby. Um, I can't. I'm, I'm working here. Yeah, here's another example. Let's see if I can uh, show you. See this clump right here? Where is it? That clump is actually hardened oil. So what happens sometimes when you open it up, it's just like the oil is separated and it pours out. And it's kind of a bit of a pain in the ass. I mean, make it stop, please. Can you just give me a few minutes? Okay. Well. All right. So I got my wall. Uh, what's this called? White? Really? Oh, come on. You want to go outside? I think she's going to want to go outside. Want to go outside? Okay. Okie dokie. <laughs> now I can continue. <sighs> and I want a blue. <clears throat> I'm using blue from, like I'm using colors from the palettes already here and I can tell they're already they're not as vibrant because they've been mixed in too much with other colors. So I might have to go and mess with it a bit. How about this? Let me just get the idea down better. Like where the shoreline is. Okay, so that's this. Let's just say, let's call that the water for now. I mean, it's very basic. Then, oops, then, okay, I want to keep these brushes not wet because I don't want to do with my water just yet. Let's get a brown, let's get a brown happening. Okay, so light, I want light to coming this way. So let's just say if light's coming this way, this might be a darker, this might be a darker area. Like even the tree might even be darker. Right, that was my, that was my, uh, that's where my hands took it. So, maybe I'll, I'll do a, take this brown, and that'll become like this layer. Of 
question is going to be, is that darker? It's got to be somewhat relative to this darkness. So let's just, let's just fill it. Well, whoa, that's not crazy. Maybe not so red. Oh, that's kind of a nice color. I kind of wanted to match up with, leave these things to match up so you can't, can't quite sure where the land is. So maybe this red, okay, that's what I'll do. I'll take this red and bring it across here so it becomes that path and it continues over here. <clears throat> right? And then maybe this is going to have some lightness to it. So let's just, just for fun of it, let's bring up, let's bring some lightness up here. I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe that looks terrible. I don't even know. Like if there's lightness, I don't know. Who knows? Okay, fuck it. Sometimes you just gotta go with the flow and see what happens. Actually, I was thinking about putting darkness, more darkness directly in front. And I still might do that. You know, like straight up darkness here. But. Ooh, that's an ugly color. Well, maybe there's like rocks and stuff. Maybe there's like a, excuse me, I don't know, something. We'll figure this out later. Let's just keep moving forward. Now the background, I think that's what I want to do. So the background, let's Let's do blues and greens because of atmospheric perspective for the um, horizon, like the, like this one, that might be too green. No, that's probably too green. I was thinking more blues. I think blues would be, okay, I'll add some greens, but I'm really going to come in with like, um, how do you say it? More. Yeah. Okay. okay, that. And then I want to get some blues in here. Like it's a little bit nutty, but why not? I wonder if I kind of did this. This was an accident. I didn't mean to do two lines. That should be one line. So maybe what I'll do is I'll destroy that. I'll destroy that double line and make it one line. So look how dark this blue is, is actually becoming. So here's going to be a short line. If I leave it thick, it'll keep the paint nice and rich. So, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, you know, let's just paint the sucker. Right? Let's just, let's just go like this. Got an itchy nose. White. This blue. Oops. I'd like to make it more intense. What would make that blue more intense? Maybe. I have to wipe my nose here. Mm hmm. Bum, 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 bum. 
Boom, boom. Atmospheric perspective. So as things get further in the distance, they, te <coughs> they tend to take on a bluish hue. So that's just something you can do. So maybe I'll do like, I don't know, something different. Like maybe, no. What is this? What is this? Hmm. It's okay. It's just okay. It's just okay. It's not good. Where's purple? What's this? That's too, is that too purple? Nah, it's okay. Let's just do that. Let's just have some fun mixing with different colors and stuff. Not being so stuck up about it. I want to do more, a bit more of these mountains behind, whatever they're called. The shoreline, I might do like, like white. I don't know. Let's just sort of have some fun with. Oops. Just playing with it a bit. Okay. <sighs> okay. Hmm. I want a little bit more of a mountain. A little bit more of a guy's picture over here and you know through over here. Well, I just felt like I just want to make some more of a roll. I want a bit more rolling, right? This is... Oh, maybe I don't like that. Okay. Okay, now. Huh. That red streak's kind of cool. I'm gonna go back down here, even though this is not a brown, and I'm gonna. I think it does need kind of like a darkness, as dark as that there. I'm not quite sure what the hell these things are though. Like one of my favorite things being up north was uh, jumping across big rocks. Let me just try to create some sort of large rocks feeling of large rocks. Maybe that shouldn't be so dark there. I mean, it should be so bright. Oh yeah, that's a nice color. That's kind of what I was hoping for. This dark fish brown. Okay, I got, how did I get there? Is it this? Yeah. Fortunately, it's pretty. I 
So I'm just going to use the, I'm just going to let the brush create shapes <clears throat> that are classic. Tom Thompson, my friend, be reborn. I bet you would have got along with that guy. He was a loner. Here's what would happen. We'd go fishing. We wouldn't talk for eight hours. We'd compare the fish we got. We'd cook them up. We'd go back to our own tents. <laughs> we might chat for a minute. Make Someone makes coffee. And that would be the day. That sounds awesome. <laughs> that's, that's my fantasy day with Tom Thompson. Okay, so... Liquid required. Ah. Now watch what happens when I bring in some white. It'll be just like, bam, your face. Your face is almost going to fall off from the intensity. Oh, excuse me. I want, th I want a thicker brush and thicker paint. So I'm going to go with a square brush that I can. This one. Oh. Okay. That yellow is very hard. If the yellow, if the paint requires me to use two hands, Trust me, it's hard. I'm strong like a bull. Okay. What about this crazy ass yellow? It might be too intense. You know what? Let's tone that yellow down a notch. It's too, that, that we're getting into Van Gogh territory, which I don't quite want to do. I want to do, Druckmann, Tom Thompson. That's kind of what I want to do. I'm going to come up with my own. Yeah, it's got to be a little, I got to, yeah, can't be too pure colors. It's got to have a bit more of a dilution of something. Like maybe even browns. Let me, let me try mixing this. Okay, okay this yellow. Ooh, I'm getting all this. Oh, maybe with a tiny bit of green. That might be cool. Okay, I'm going to take this yellow with this green. Man, that's too... I gotta... Hmm. No, no, no. No, I might go okay over here, but not... Uh, where else I want to this, this show up on this side here? Is there actually going to be light on this thing? That's kind of weird. Is there light there? I don't know. Let's just, uh, let's just try. Do a little bit of drawing with this light green. It's fun. Okay. Um, yeah, not a, not a green. Not a green. This, this is not the right color.
And this brush is not the right brush. Okay, and I have to, and that one's going in the, in the drink. Back. Also, you know what? This tree looks, uh, sorry, this tree looks pretty dead. So I want to go and uh, I want to make him look more alive. Maybe I'll add more of these like clumpy little bit things. But right now I need, where's my water? Yeah, all these brushes which are dirty and to put there. What I need is like a, uh, kind of like a nice background color. I want hmm I think maybe a thicker thicker brush will do be better than my big brush yeah okay. Um, okay, so we're doing a kind of a, I don't know what I'm doing. I want this color, but I'm not a purpley, I want a purpley, but it can't be too strong. It's got to be subtle. Something, yeah, maybe that might, that might do the trick. Kind of come sweeping over. Is that too murky? No, that, I, that might not be okay. Just me add a bit more white to it. I just need, I want to make it thicker. <clears throat> want to make it thicker. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it's not thick enough. I want thicker paint. Come on, just goop off. I want it to goop off my brush. Like that. I want it to goop off my brush. Excuse me. Isn't that kind of neat? How this is there's actually this is actually um green, a yellow green for the sky. I kind of like that. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make it so that there's going to be some flow to this guy. And uh, it's going to like... Do some of that. And uh, let's bring some um, of that sky yellow green into the water.
Oops. Because there definitely should be some of that there. I don't know how much, but let's just... Let's fuck it. Let's just do this. Whoa. That's some intense shit right there. Look at that. So, that, okay. I should probably find out where the center point of the sun is. Because that will determine a lot of where the light is. I haven't... You know, I'm just... Uh, I haven't really planned it out, so let's just be honest here. And this would this doesn't make any sense actually. This should be the sun should be starting here. Okay, so I kind of screwed that up a bit. Let's do something. Let's go like this and let's bring in like that's maybe where the mountains are yeah maybe that's what I did wrong maybe the light should happen lower I'll fix that that's no big deal the light should happen what I'm trying to bat what I'm battling about is where if I'm gonna have a like a reflection like like this the Sun should like happen down here so I kind of screwed up I did the opposite of what I should have done like I should have okay where's yeah let's just say the light is gonna be yeah well let's make it a little bit lower let's just say that the sun starts hitting here exactly the opposite of what I just did right so there's gonna be Oh yeah, yeah, not too smart sometimes. Oops, wrong color. Let's just say that this is the reflections of the land. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch! Come on, come on, baby. Don't mess with me. All right, you want to mess with me? Here you're gonna go. You're gonna play with the bull. You get the horns. Come on, play with the bull. You get the horns. Where the horns? Here we go. So this is what I was talking about. This is how I screwed it up. Oh, yeah, bam! Don't fuck with me. This is like the her the reflection of of the mountains and stuff here let's see that's the reflection of the of the there and then I could come in with my much lighter color and say this is the sky coming in now. Oops, it's not that light. Let's bring it in high. Let's bring it in like this. I won't know till I'm done if this is the right, if this was the right move. Might look terrible, might look great. Just have to wait and see a minute. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I like it. I can't say right now if I like. Yeah, I can't say if I like this. But I have time to play with it, thank you, because I'm using oils. So I can always fix this stuff up later. Put some of those blues down into here. I don't know if that's, that's that good. Okay. 
Let's go back to the sky. Feels like it's about an hour. I still feel good. It feels like one hour. Uh. Maybe not. I don't know. Just because I feel like taking a break. Part of it is... I want to step back. Like, I can see the composition when I look at the screen, which is nice. But I kind of also want to just take a little mental break, a little sort of. Ooh, that's nice. <gasps> Excuse me. Take a mental break. Yeah, it's like it's not there. There's something I need to do. I think, yeah, let's add some green, okay? Whatever that painting is. Okay, someone's got to find it. What's the name of the painting? Imagine it was like this, but that direction. Uh, it's like the most famous Tom Thompson. Northern, I was going to say Northern Lights. Uh, No, northern. Maybe it's not northern. Is there northern? Something. I thought it was northern. Okay, what if I just. I can't even see that. Yeah, because I think my trees recently have all been... Ooh, that was kind of a stupid place to put it. Don't they all... They clump down. They kind of clump. <laughs> yeah. Northern... What the hell is it called? Oh, that'd be kind of cool if it comes down over the... The water. Northern. Someone look it up before I go crazy. Look up. Tom Thompson. I know. Someone Google Tom Thompson famous painting. And I guarantee the painting that I'm thinking of is going to come up. Tom Thompson famous painting. Uh, Art Gallery of Ontario, maybe. In Northern Wind? Because I remember the lake in his, the water I think is going to the left, and it's all these little, um, what's it called? White, white caps? Shh. It's a really awesome painting. And what I like about it, there's a lot of finesse to it. Like you see, I remember the lines he did around the rocks were like very thin, fine lines. And then over here, he did vertical stuff for the background. And the sky, I, I remember being more cloudy. Like I think it was more, it created the impression of rough winds, which this kind of does have, but I, th I think, I kind of remember there being white clouds going this way. Something like that. Okay, so right now, I think this looks like a piece of shit, to be honest. It just looks like a, a rough hack of a job. And it does kind of... Maybe I went too far in making it look like that painting. Does anyone look it up? No one's looking up. No one's even watching. Doesn't matter. Okay. Someone's got to look at that painting. 
Northern Wind. Could that be it? Northern Wind? I remember there being some crazy reds in it. Just like I did at the bottom here, he did crazy red. So let me just try to make it a little bit different, shall we? Look, it's turning green. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't actually even like that. What's this painting called? That's really annoying. Uh, I kind of didn't want to look it up so that I wouldn't, so I could go more like on, on a, the memory I have of that painting. It's one, it's one of those paintings when you just walk in a room and you're like, wow. You can feel yourself there. You know, you can feel the, the air. You can feel the the lake air. What if I did just a bunch of weird branches? Like, what if I just did instead of these straight ones? Let's let's do some weird curly ones that kind of curl off and don't even make sense. Like, look at this. Fuck. Oops. I mean, that might have been a mistake, uh, but why not? Just. Maybe, maybe, maybe it is, maybe it is. I'm sure I could fix that. The problem with this one is that it took the paint underneath it and made it white. But if I, if I could sort of darken it up, it'll be okay. Ah, that's a fuck up. That was too dark. I mean, that was a, that's, that's a piece of shit. Let's fix that one up right now. So something, I mean, it's, it's okay, it's okay. It's not the worst, it's not the worst thing in the world currently. It definitely needs some life to it. It definitely needs a bit more intensity. Like, come in here with these dark lines. Something like <laughs> ah, shit balls, that's terrible. That sucked. Yeah, it's definitely not there yet. I don't know, there's something wrong with this tree. This tree doesn't look, it's missing something. It's missing something. It looks sad, it looks kind of like pathetic actually. It's like the most sad tree I've ever seen. It's like, oh, you know, it's like it needs, is this gonna be light? That's gonna show up quite, 
Maybe, maybe, maybe that's what this is. Is this going to be like light? I don't know. Like, I'm not quite sure how the branches would grow. Okay, I'm not, not at all happy with this. It just... Ugh, the, uh... Fuck! It pisses me off now. No, I hate it. I actually hate it. I actually hate you. It's not at all this cool, iconic tree that I wanted to do. I wanted to do this tree that was going to be, like, powerful and interesting and... Not shit. And I think what I'm doing is the lines, my lines aren't good. Like they should be far more. What is it? They're not, they're not bending well. They're not like there needs to be. I'm trying to say <sighs> um uh, yeah like that little thing up there is, is not oh what is just pissed I'm just getting pissed off by the second by the second You know what the problem is? I don't know what the fuck kind of tree this is. That's that's the problem. Is I'm just sort of bullshitting my way through. It's like a really bad version of that thing. And also, it just looks so lonely and pathetic. It looks so stupid sitting there. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a break because it's it's bugging me. She's a bug in me. She is not, not so nice. I think it's going to start looking better when I start doing more negative space stuff. Yeah, and this composition just doesn't feel so good. Like once I start doing more, like, nice, thick, heavier strokes coming off of this thing. And, like, even... Even chasing this thing down, like even like contouring, contouring space. And that'll help a bit. And, um, oh, it's so terrible. Blah, 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 blah. 
Oh, I'm embarrassed to show this. I don't know. I This one is just it's making me angry, actually, how terrible it is. <sighs> it's missing so much something. Like, it's missing, like... It's missing something. It's missing, like... I don't know, just something. Like that, that didn't work out very well, did it? Like it, it's missing something. Isn't it? Uh, I'm not sure what, but maybe if I keep on saying it's missing something, that'll help. Um, No, it's just ugly as fuck. Not happy with this at all. It's like it just needs bam. It just needs like. This is what it needs. It needs to fucking stop just pissing me off, and it needs to get some. Life into a it needs to just stop. It needs just a bam, 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 bam. It needs that. It needs this. Mm. That's what it's starting to need. It needs that you stupid ass old fucker. What are you even some? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. It needs blurring of lines. It needs uncertainty. It needs something. It needs something. Urgh. Maybe these more of these stupid green things coming up here, like maybe. Come on, green. Give me some more of those clumps. We ah, oh, look how horrible that is. That's not working out at all. Look, that's the wrong color. Come on. Oh yeah, I I think I I think I see. Oh come on, still recording. Okay, I think I know. Oh come on, don't be lumpy, lumpy bastard. No, I don't want mint. What I want is dark, rich green, and you are not dark and rich. You're kind of a Piss me off color. Let me add some blue. That's better. I think it's going to have to come in 
darker. I think what's missing is something where it's, it might be leaning to one side and that's all right. It's only white because it pick up so much white. I need darker. Oh, don't take some of this blue. There we go. Like it needs this. Something like that. It's not quite there, but yeah, it's something like that. I don't know. I'll come. I'll come back to this. Okay. I don't know what kind of tree it is. That's the problem. I kind of just made it up, and that was probably a mistake because it looks. I was thinking about that Tom Thompson painting, and I think, uh, you know, didn't look so good. Oh, I know, I know. Let's put a little tree. Let's put a little tree here. Let's put a little guy here, just coming out, and and uh, just let's get some. Can't wait. Figure it'll be something. It'll be like some kind of good little tree. Just to balance composition. Maybe I had a couple more of these things. Maybe I'll have a couple more of these little little trees doing little little dances and stuff. And maybe I'll have another one over here. Kinda kinda coming off to the side. That's kind of maybe that's better. Yeah. Just a little one over here. I think that might help. That might help a lot. Okay. So I think that's I think that's break time. Okay, let's let's call this uh, a break. Um good enough for now. I'm going to come back to it later. All right, thanks.